Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Amber bringing you the video where I talk about what I've been watching. Let's chit chat. Alright, so two, about two weeks ago I started making these videos a little standalones just to kind of take them away from the weekly videos because they started to get really long and I thought this would just be easier to have these every few weeks instead of every week and have 20 minute videos every week which I don't know about you kills me with editing but also might not be as entertaining to watch so here we are I want to start off with a beautiful boy the movie starring Steve Carell and Timothy Chalamet who I am here for because oh my god he's giving me the Leonardo DiCaprio Robert Pattinson mixed with a little bit of Christian Bale Daniel Day Lewis acting vibe so I'm here for that not to mention he's cute so but I forgot to mention that I watched that movie in the last video and that has been on my watch list for years and I finally was just in a mood where I didn't have anything to watch so I'm like you know what it's on Prime I'm gonna watch it and it was just as good as I knew it would be just from the trailer like the acting all around from everyone in that movie was amazing it is kind of a tearjerker and I didn't know this but it was a true story it's about a father dealing with his son who is a drug addict and the ups and downs of him going in and out of rehab so just saying that out loud I'm sure you can understand how intense this movie is with the emotions if you're down for some good acting and a very intense drama definitely check that out next up I watched sexy beast in its entirety for another round because I was showing my friend Leilani how amazingly awful this show is. So if you still haven't watched it, I really think you should. Like I said before, the makeup alone is amazing and just watching these people still not be able to connect emotionally because looks for some reason is still so very important to them is hilarious, especially with how bad their final choices are with who they end up with. So it's on Netflix, check it out, Sexy Beast. When is season two happening? Soon, I hope. Next, I watched I Am Patrick Swayze, as you could guess, on Patrick Swayze's birthday. It's a documentary, I believe, that his his wife produced. So there's a lot of interviews from her, as well as his brother. And, oh my God, can I just say, can we get more documentaries where Rob Lowe is someone that's being interviewed about the person? Because I swear, he made this documentary so much more fun and funny because he's worked with Patrick a few times in different movies so I really liked it. It was a very obviously sad and heartwarming documentary about Patrick Swayze and the, his, the life he led, the kind of work he was, how intense he was. I just felt like I connected to him way more after watching that. You can rent it on YouTube because that's what I had to do uh, but I highly recommend watching it if you're a big Patrick Swayze fan. Next thing was an episode of Untold. It's a series going on. So this, this episode was called Untold Malice at the Palace. It's on Netflix. I kept seeing it pop up where it was just like this fight versus some Indiana Pacer basketball players versus some fans. And I added it to my list, but I'm like, nah, I don't feel like watching that. So I finally watched it. I'm glad I did because I don't know why I didn't realize Reggie Miller would be in it because I love Reggie Miller. Michael Jordan aside, he was who I watched basketball for. Reggie Miller, I had a crush on for some reason. <laughs> also, he's a great three-point shooter. Anyway, so this documentary episode is about the fight that happened in Detroit versus some Pacer players and some fans. And I had no idea this happened because, to be honest, after the first time Michael Jordan retired, I just quit watching basketball like my basketball phase ended so this happened seasons after that so I had no idea which also breaks my heart because it put into reality that I wasn't aware of that Reggie Miller never won a championship which again is heartbreaking so not to go into too much details it's very interesting how this case played out because the league fined and suspended the three players involved in the fighting but when you watch this documentary you could see in my opinion I feel like the fans instigated it not to mention there was some high intense emotions going on with some of the Detroit Pistons players so definitely check it out it was super interesting because how it pans out was crazy and again your heart will break for Reggie Miller but I, I'm still kind of like in shock like this actually happened 
But yeah, it's on Netflix. Check it out if you have time to check it out. There's also another episode of Untold that I want to watch. I can't remember what it's called, but definitely check out Malice at the Palace for the Untold episode on Netflix. I watched the three new episodes for Love is Blind, and it's safe to say that I still hate Amber with a passion. And I'm not talking about myself, but Amber on Love is Blind, the entire season, she drove me nuts. She just, I have opinions, and I feel like she's some sort of control freak. And after watching these three episodes, I'm like, oh, so I was right. Because at this point, it's it just looks like she's got Matt, her husband Matt. She has him wrapped around her finger. What Jessica did was wrong to them trying to break them up or whatever. But there's some sort of maturity in talking it through and moving on from it. And she is just not about it. And then I looked it up. And she's an Aries, so that makes sense. No offense to the Aries, but some of you Aries are crazy when it comes to anger and managing your emotions. And anyways, to give a short summary, the three episodes are kind of like a after the season. So it's catching up with the two, the only two couples that got married, which are the Hamiltons and the, I think it's the Barnetts. So the Hamiltons are Cameron and Crabba, I forgot her name. Anyways, I'm all about the Hamiltons. They're super cute. And then the Barnetts are Amber and I think his name is Matt. And it's their two-year anniversary. So the Hamiltons are throwing a party. And what they did is they brought all of the contestants back since they're all friends to celebrate with them. So I'm like, that's cute. There's also some drama going on with, uh, oh God, what's the, I don't remember their names now, but the, you know, the Spanish girl that got dumped at the altar and then she walked off, but then they're, they're still dating. There's some drama with that. So either way, if you liked Love is Blind, if you watched it, if you haven't watched it, you should. It's really interesting and good, like, trashy TV, as always. But, oh, man, I'm still triggered about how Amber was treating people. Like, there was drama going on with another contestant, or, like, Jessica, as well as this other girl that was on the show with Mark, which Mark was the one that proposed to Jessica. That was a whole thing, if you haven't seen it. But he, apparently he was messing around with other girls. So this girl was trying to talk to Amber about it, which come to find out she's BS with Mark. So she just was not hearing this girl out and just kept defending Mark, which yes, there are two sides to the story, but come on, bruh. The way she was talking to these girls, I'm like, mm-mm, you lucky you didn't get snatched, girl. Anyways, if you would like to feel these same emotions, especially about her, definitely check out Love is Blind in its entirety because you're going to feel some things and you're going to have some opinions. And when you have those feelings and opinions, come back here, drop them in the comments so we can discuss them because I want to hear what you guys think. And again, that is Love is Blind and it's on Netflix. I watched two more episodes of Outer Banks. Um, it's starting to pick up a little bit. In fact, I probably would have watched more, but it was late, so I turned it off. I'm starting to see why people are kind of, like, obsessed with it, because it's kind of like, how do I put this? It's like Laguna Beach meets the Goonies, kind of, because, you know, it's big treasure hunt, as well as a murder mystery and all this other stuff, so I'm here for it. The acting still, it's just, the acting is where I'm having issues, but so far... I'm enjoying what's happening plot-wise. And if you want to check it out, it's on Netflix. The second season has been put up uh, a few weeks ago, so I've only just started the first season. If you do start it, know that there's two seasons and not just the one that I'm working on right now. But it is on Netflix right now, and you can watch it. I am finally caught up on Walking Dead, just to be now not caught up because the, was it season 11 just premiered? I think it was season 11 season what season are you on oh so season 11 just started yeah so i just got finished catching up on season 10 just to be back not being caught up since season 11 just premiered i have one episode <laughs> to watch the finale for season 10 was good i'll say that before i start throwing shade because it's a negan episode where they're finally giving us his backstory but never forget never forgive he killed glenn can we not forget that? I know all you Negan fans out there love him because he's such a badass, but nah, I'm good. Like, you don't mess with my boy Rick Grimes. Like, he put Rick Grimes in a place and we're just supposed to be okay with that? Nah, I'm good. And I get it, yeah. Every villain has a backstory. That's just how I believe. No one is just born evil. 
So it was a good episode. I will put. I will say that it was a great episode, especially acting wise, because you know you're used to Negan being a certain way, and we got to see all these different emotions, whatever. But that's just it. Whatever. He killed Glenn. <laughs> But I mean, that aside, people can change. I'm just like, I'm not jumping on any kind of Negan train. I'll let him do him as long as he's not messing with my peeps. But you don't need my support. You have plenty of people supporting you. So other than that, it was a good episode. The finale, for it as a finale, I don't think it was strong enough as a finale. It should have been like a mid-season finale, maybe. I guess I'm just used to like every finale having some big epic war, either starting or almost ending. And then the first episode for the new season is the the conclusion of it so that was kind of probably why it threw me off but i'm caught up now except for the the new episode <laughs> yo so i started this show called f boy island because they were talking about it on the morning radio show i listen to every morning and the premise of this is there's three ladies on this resort and there's 12 guys that they're trying to date essentially so they could date one of them the spin of this is six of them are F boys, you know, fuck boys, and then six of them are nice guys. So they don't know who is who. And when I heard the premise of this, I'm like, okay, I'm here for this because I will be able to be like, nah, 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 nah. So, and I have watched five episodes of this so far and I had to stop myself because I probably would have just ran through the whole season. <sighs> God. First of all, right off the back I'm like no no why are you picking this guy look at him <laughs> and it's sad that you could pick people out just based on how they carry themselves there's just so much drama especially the it's so funny to see some of the guys being petty and like starting rumors and stuff I'm like oh so it's not just a girl thing like you guys keep saying you guys could be petty too it's really enjoyable definitely like if you want again bad TV alert it's chef's kiss yeah i'll probably end up finishing it because the main reason why i didn't watch all of it is because i knew i had already watched a bunch of stuff and didn't want to come on here and make an hour long video so it's on hbo max check it out or if you have already comment down below and let me know what you think so we can discuss it went and saw free guy with ryan reynolds the movie that is currently top in the charts well i don't know if it is now but it had been for its first two weeks and it actually was pretty good i mean the trailer when i saw it i'm like it looks like it's gonna be fun like stupid fun but i was really surprised at how actually this movie had heart and was able to contain it and keep it alive the entire film despite all the silliness that was going on so it was i don't know i was just i really liked it <laughs> But like I know when I first saw the trailer I'm like this looks like something that needs to be seen big because of the special effects but now after seeing it I feel like you it's okay if you see it on the small screen as well I mean there are special effects but nothing just like to blow your skirt up about so you could watch it at home as well and still really enjoy it visually so yeah if you're in the mood for a movie that you'll have fun with and laugh at and surprisingly have feelings about definitely check it out it was really entertaining next is we're re-watching neon genesis evangelion how do you say that neon genesis evangelion i think i said that right we had started it like two years ago but we only watched like three episodes and it's one of patrick's favorite animes so we were watching it and we got four episodes in and I don't remember any of it, so I feel bad. But I am actually enjoying it. It's it's in the future. I think it was 2015, which we both started laughing about. Like, ooh, in the distant future. Tokyo 3 is a city that is constantly under attack by these agents. They call them angels, but I think they're aliens. So what they're doing is they've built these, like, machines to fight them, which is the Evangelions, I believe is how you say it. I'm going to say that wrong so many times. And the guy that's... uh engineered them brings his son who he hasn't seen in like three years to pilot it so it's like this father-son battle of you're never there this poor kid being forced into doing something he doesn't want to do even though it is saving the city and since we're only four episodes in there not much else has happened yet right now i think he's trying to fit in at school poor thing either way i'm having fun watching it and if you want to check it out 
it's on Netflix and I think it's just one season I feel like that's what Patrick told me yeah so it's on Netflix there's 26 episodes and you could check it out too if you're interested and lastly I just started like last night the Netflix show clickbait so my boy from Entourage Adrian Greer is in it as well as a few other people I think yeah Zoe Kazan, I love her as an actress. She plays really quirky parts, but she plays Adrian Greer's sister in Clickbait. And if you haven't seen the trailer, Adrian Greer is kidnapped, and a video of him is put up on YouTube or some video streaming site saying that he's holding up a sign that says, I abuse women, and then the second sign says, I will die when this hits 5 million views. So. The whole premise of the video is them trying to figure out what's going on. I've watched three episodes of this so far out of the eight and it's very addicting. <laughs> Each episode is focused on one character. So like the first episode was the sister, second episode was the detective, and the third episode is the wife. I saw what the fourth one is, but I won't say it out loud since no one has seen it yet. I bet the last episode is him. So. Definitely check it out. Um, it's a, it's very interesting, and the acting is really amazing thus far. So knowing me, I will probably finish it before I see you guys next. <laughs> in in these type of videos, that is not like the weekly videos. Although, <laughs> knowing me, <laughs> but yeah, again, it's on Netflix. There's eight episodes. I've watched three so far. I'm highly enjoying it, and you might too. So if you do check it out. Definitely let me know. It was just released, I think, Friday, so that's fun. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for me with what I've been watching. Do you have any recommendations? Let me know down below and I'll, maybe I'll check them out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you had fun with me today and share this video with anyone that you know that might need recommendations on what they should be watching. And until next time, guys, be well, be safe, be silly, and as always, tell you.